Hi guys, and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Well, it's more of an overview um, how I made this, but welcome to another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how I made this uh, better menu system. So in uh, Unreal, when you're using the the menu widgets or the widgets system it's kind of hard to make a menu uh, compatible with both uh, computer controls keyboard and mouse and with the gamepad or controller so today I'm gonna show you how I made this so um, you see this is sort of normal it's like a hovered graphic right um, but if I go over to the gamepad you can't see it Oh, well, we can't see my hands, but look at this. Ah, yeah. All right. So it's kind of really hard to do this. Uh, not really. I mean, I figured out a way to to do it. So today I'm going to show you. All right. So first of all, you're going to need. Uh, I'm not making a fresh start tutorials this is more of a, an overview so you're going to this is for people who already have a menu system that they want to uh, sort of make compatible with both keyboard and mouse and controller uh, the one requirement is if you have normal buttons and you don't have image buttons uh, you might want to convert your buttons to images. You can just do that probably through just uh, recreating it in your software of choice so it looks like how you already have it set up, or you can just make new buttons completely. Um, these are just placeholders. I'm probably going to upgrade them later on, but uh, you're going to want an image component. Uh, I put in I put in um, the normal style and the hovered and the pressed the hovered and the pressed are the same for this one uh, because using this method is kind of uh, kind of strange it kind of gets rid of your press button um, but for this tutorial it's this is not a hundred percent necessary since we're going to be setting the style in blueprints um, but you're going to want a normal button and a hovered button. Um, and all right, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to convert your uh, buttons, both the normal and the hovered state, uh, into sprites by right clicking and going to sprite actions and going to create sprite. I already have sprites for all my buttons so um, I can move on but you, uh, you're gonna have to convert all of the ones that you are going to use in this menu uh, because we're going to be using a specific node that converts uh, sprites into a brush and then into a, a style to set for the button alright so now if we go into the graph here um, we have a bunch of, on the event construct right here, we have a bunch of uh, button sprites that I set. So you're going to want to add new variables. They're going to be sprite, paper sprite, right here. I'll just do this, I'm gonna delete this. Um, you, gotta re you can rename it if it's gonna be your play button. Go pl play. BTN button and then sprite you want to I don't know I just write wrote SPRT but you can write whatever you want um, these are going to be the sprites and you want your all your buttons to be variables so that is oh that's right up here um, so for all your buttons you want this to be checked is variable so you're going to have I'll delete this so you're gonna have all your sprites for every button that you have you wanna create a sprite for it 
you converted your buttons into sprites here. And then how you set the uh, sprite specific sprite to the sprite variable you just created, you drag it off, or not get, sorry, set, and then you connect it to the vent construct and you select the asset. If this is the uh, your back button, then back to settings, you go back, type in, and then you find the sprite for it. Um, for me, it's the exit button sprite. So you're going to want to do this for all your, I see, you see that I have all the buttons. Uh, I have a button, a play button pressed, or a play button hovered and pressed, and then I have a normal play button sprite. And these are all set through the event construct. So I have all my low, medium, and high buttons set um, the sprite to the sprite variable. And then I have all the hovered sprites here. I created a new variable. It's a paper sprite. Yada, yada, yada. Low button. You drag it out in here, and then you select the asset that you converted right here. Okay, I think you get that. All right. Once you have all your sprites set, bam, I just kind of did this. You can have it hanging off. Uh, I wanted to give some room in case I wanted to add buttons. Uh, you have it execute into a set timer by event. The event, I called it focus because it's going to uh, detect if a button has keyboard focus. And then depending on that condition, if it's true, it'll set the specific array index from the for each loop we have here. Um, and then it'll take that button and get it from this array. These are all the pressed and hovered sprites here. And then it'll convert um, a sprite into a brush or make a brush from a sprite and then you have all these button style nodes so the make brush from sprite make button style I made it so it changed all of these states because otherwise except for disabled and down otherwise you might get a uh, white blank image um, or white blank sprite when you hover or when you click it um, because it, when you do this method, it gets rid of all these right here and just pulls them or converts your sprites into the style. And then it overwrites these image components for the button. So anyway, um, so this right here is very important. Uh, these are all the button references themselves. So these actual buttons right here. So this is the play button, right? And you can go down into events. And I have an on clicked event and an on hovered event, as you can see. Right now I'm going to go to there. Um, but these, if you click is a variable, will appear right here. And then you have your play button, right? Okay, this is if you already have a menu. So um, you just drag your buttons out, right? So these are the actual buttons themselves. And then you make an array. You want to make sure uh, that you have them in a very specific order. Or you can have it in whatever order you want. But however order you set the button... or. Uh, However, uh, whatever order the buttons are in, in the initial array, they have to match up to the sprite arrays right here. So we, we're creating three arrays, essentially. Um, one is connected to the button, and there's a for each loop. It's This is essentially uh, detecting 
or it's for each loop takes an array and it executes a loop command or a command according to everything in the array so it'll take all your buttons and it'll constantly be checking for if has keyboard focus so you want to make your buttons into an array then you want to make your sprites into an array you want the first array for sprites is going to be your normal sprites and then you want an array for your hovered sprites all right and then for this you want a get node so you want to branch out you want to go get for the buttons you need a copy it doesn't matter there's only one option um, and you want this hooked up into the array index from the for each loop so it's constantly getting everything in the array index for the for each loop and then it's constantly setting those sprites into a brush and then into your style so if it's not hovered or it doesn't have keyboard focus uh, set style or if has keyboard focus is false set style from the mo uh, all the normal button sprites and you want these to match up with these you want the array index 0 to be your play if array index 0 is your play button you want array index 0 of your sprites to be the play button sprite and you know same thing as you go down settings I have mine play settings exit graphics play settings exit graphics okay that makes sense all right so you want to bam and then you want from the for each loop you want the branch that's true or false it has keyboard focus and then you want to take this and you want to promote a randex to a variable and then you plug it into the true branch so if this button one of these buttons has keyboard focus it'll set the array index to that button right and then it'll get this out of the hovered array index that you create so you want to create like I said three indexes one is for the actual buttons themselves one is for the normal sprites and one is for the hovered sprites and then so it's going to take this variable which is set from the has keyboard focus so if this element has keyboard focus array index 0 it'll set it to the one that has keyboard focus and then it'll get that bu um, button from the index so if it's button 1 that has keyboard focus not 0 but 1 then it'll pull the setting button hovered or press sprite and then it makes a brush from a sprite and then it makes it into a button style and then sets the style all right now all right i'll make a part two that'll have this portion the uh buttons that change and then as you can see on the console commands it's running graphic scalability console commands every time I push the button according to whether it's selected and this will be it'll you know it'll keep the setting so if if you have a uh, a menu that has like low button medium button and high button separated uh, there's usually no way to tell which button you've selected um, unless you create like a um, a selected sprite for the button and I found that to be pretty difficult so I found this to just be a lot tidier and in part two I'll show you how to do this awesome hi guys I forgot to um, mention that when you 
create this, right? It's going to remove your hovered uh, image component for the button. So what you want to do to fix this, it's pretty easy. So you have your buttons right for the play button. You just need an on hovered event right here. Um, for all of your buttons, just you know, take them, go on hovered. I already have them all done and set up, but you want to take your button, you know, the event on hovered. And then you want to, since this is right here is the play, you drag out a get reference to it. That's what this is right here. You plug it in to, or you drag out here, then you create set keyboard focus, which is what I have right here. You don't need to do it twice. It just needs to look like this right here. Bam. So you have an on hovered event that every time a mouse the mouse hovers the button it'll set the keyboard focus because what this does is on keyboard focus oh, right when it has keyboard focus it changes it to the hovered sprite so oh, you want this right here for each of your buttons you want it so on hovered it sets to keyboard focus okay awesome thank you